3D scanning allows you to take anything around you and recreate it in digital space. So whether that be an individual object or an entire room of your home or your home itself, you can 3D scan that item and recreate it digitally. And this allows you to take an object into a CAD program and design something around that particular object that you couldn't otherwise do with just the thing physically or allow somebody to walk through your actual home on their computer rather than having to go to your home itself. And although this technology can be pretty expensive if you're going for full professional equipment, you can also do it with just your iPhone. And there's plenty of apps out there. In this video, I use an app called Qlone. And what these apps allow you to do is use a technology called photogrammetry, which takes several different pictures, stitches them together in order to recreate what you're taking pictures of in three-dimensional space. Now, a lot of these apps, especially on the newer iPhones, can also use the LiDAR scanner on the iPhone in order to get more accurate measurements in three-dimensional space. So for this particular app, the Qlone app, you actually print out a 2D checkerboard pattern that you lay your object on while the app is taking the video of the object lying on this sheet. And this can be scaled up or scaled down in order to accommodate whatever object that you're actually trying to 3D scan. And of course, this isn't the best app for 3D scanning your home. There are plenty of other apps that will do that. This one is really meant to scan smaller objects that can fit on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. And there's a lot of neat things that you can do with your 3D scanned object once you have it completed. I mean, whether you're trying to 3D scan like a sculpture or something you found out in nature, you can then take whatever you just 3D scanned. Now you have that digital format. You can export it and then, of course, 3D print it in order to have an exact copy of what you just saw. So in this video, in order to demonstrate the technology, I'm just going to use an AirPod. And we're going to scan this AirPod mainly because of how kind of tricky the dimensions are and the shape of it is. There's a lot of just curves and different overlaps to the actual physical object. So we're gonna use the AirPod and I'll show you the process of actually scanning it with the app and then transferring that over in order to print on your 3D printer. So let's get started and jump over to our iPhone. So now we're actually in the Qlone app and as you can see, there's a sphere around the object that we're scanning correlating to the grid pattern on the piece of paper. And as you scan around the object, each one of these blue kind of areas disappears to show that you've scanned it. Then after the first scan, we're able to actually do a second scan with the object in a different orientation. That way we can capture more of it and get a cleaner scan. So now we're just doing that again with the AirPod in a different orientation on the other half. And then it processes that and merges the two uh, scans together. And now what we're able to do is actually take that scan and bring it into some of the built-in app uh, functionality for actually cleaning those scans up. So we can soften a lot of the sort of polygon nature of the scan. So sort of how you would do it in something like a blender, you're able to actually kind of clean up, as you can see, mess it up a little bit, uh, undo, and then clean up the actual scan itself. So try and pull in or pull out some of those polygons in order to actually clean up the shape of the uh, object a little bit, uh, clean up the actual scan itself. And then once you're done with that, we can of course export it. And once it's in its finished state, export as an OBJ and STL, and then bring it into our actual slicing tool for our 3D printer. So now we can just orient it in the proper manner. You can then use any of the 3D printer sort of functionality. So we can scale it up if we want a giant AirPod, leave it the same size if we just want to duplicate the object that we've scanned. So now we can bring it back down to the original scale. We're going to want to print something like this object with raft and at like a normal speed. That way you still get some pretty good um, textures and shape out of what we're trying to actually print. Uh, we'll turn the raft on, turn on the structure or the, the support structure. And now what I want to do is just show you guys sort of how this thing is actually going to print. So this will give you a good idea of what the scan looks like at each one of these different levels. So as we bring it up, you can see that, you know, we're building this layer by layer and how the AirPod is actually kind of constructed and all the formation and the contours of it. So now we can export that and actually get on to 3D printing.
And although the 3D scan and the 3D print don't look perfect, it's honestly a pretty nice job by just using your iPhone and a 3D printer. So here we have our AirPod, and here we have our 3D scanned AirPod. So it's a little bit tough to see because it is all black, but you can see there's a decent amount of ridging and there's a little bit of like the polygon shape from the STL, being that it's not super accurate when it's doing the 3D scan, especially on a really small object like just an AirPod. If you had something a little bit bigger that could actually fit on that eight and a half, 11 sheet of paper, it would probably look a lot more detailed and a lot more crisp, but overall it's honestly pretty good. I mean, I can chuck the AirPod in, fits in really nice. I can do the same thing with our 3D printed AirPod and honestly fits pretty good too. So whether you're just trying to throw a black 3D printed AirPod in yours, you can walk around and look like you have the next great thing from Apple, or whether you're trying to do something useful with the 3D scan and actually print something to either recreate something that is broken or just create a different version of it with your 3D printer. There are a lot of awesome use cases for this technology. So let me know down in the comments below, what are some things you would want to 3D scan and recreate with a 3D print? If you enjoyed the video, if you liked it, definitely give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, definitely get subscribed to the channel, turn on post notifications so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one.